Hello children, I'm Gayatri, your computer ma'am and with a warm heart I welcome you all to my video classes. You are now in 4th standard, beginning a new session with new activities. Till now you all must have mastered MS Paint. All the tools, all the options, all the brushes and all you have done all this already till the last session. In this session, we are going to ex um, work on a new and improved updated version of the paint that is your 3D paint software. Okay, first you should know what is 3D, what is 2D, right? Let's see. As you can see over here, we have two dimensional shapes. We have many uh, different shapes for the 2D effect. Now, what is the unique about these 2D shapes? These shapes are having only length and height as its dimension. They are also known as plane shapes or figures because they lie flat on the surface. You can check whether it's a 2D object or not. You can place one 2D object on your hand and try to clap. If you are able to clap and make a sound, that means it's a 2D shape. You can't do it with a 3D shape. 3D shape uh, has third dimension. It has depth or width more due to which we are not able to clap. Okay, let's see. I'll show you, share with you a small video regarding 3D shapes. 3D shapes take up space. It has third dimension. First is length, then width, and then height. Width is the third dimension which makes it 3D. World is made up of 3D shapes. They are all the things we can hold like book or football or gifts. They all take up space. You all have already worked with a 2D paint that is your MS paint. From today onwards we are going to start a new software that is your 3D paint software. If you want to use 3D paint, the requirement of the system is Windows 10, the latest version will also do. In the older versions, we don't have 3D paint. There are two ways in which you can open 3D paint in your system if you have Windows 10 at least. Click over here, here on the below left hand side, type here search. Over here, you need to type 3D paint. Look above, you have this option. You can click over here to open. Or otherwise, you can go over here. You can find your 3D paint option. Here. Okay. The paint 3D. You can open from here. 3D paint software is having an interface which is designed to be simple yet powerful with a huge variety of tools appearing handy. I'm going to start with this top left side menu. Just click on it. You will see loads of options over here. New for new canvas. Open if you have already saved files. If you want to edit those files, insert to insert a file into your canvas save save as you already know all these options i'm going to have a brief intro uh, of all these uh, options over here let's start in these brush ops option we have uh, loads of brushes you can try um, different brushes and you can change the thickness from here you can reduce the thickness also okay um see okay if you reduce the thickness you can it will be like this this is the eraser you can increase the thickness of the eraser from here okay in this way uh, what else the spray spray button then you can reduce the thickness from here see the opacity option the opacity is 100 percent the flow the flow of your uh, colors if i reduce the opacity it will reduce the flow of the colors like see it, reduces considerably if i reduce it again see more see it lightens 
very much considerably so it's uh, totally upon you now the select option you see over here you can click on it you can select the whole canvas and you can press the delete button on your keyboard to erase everything you can use the eraser also okay you can erase from here also now we come to the 2d shape here are a uh, few options suppose I am drawing this star it will open a new option bar from here we can change the color from here we can change the color of the border okay thickness thickness of the border we can change stickers opacity okay we can change it like this okay suppose I'm, I've drawn this and if I click on this correct option I won't be able to edit it again okay so be so be careful if you are done or not <laughs> click ok then uh, suppose I'm drawing this okay I take it over this like this okay I change the colors <clears throat> okay this may now i'm going to check uh, select another sticker change the color to green and the fill suppose this okay if we reduce the opacity see what happens right In this way you can use the opacity to create a uh, magical effects okay illusion kind of thing can do this okay click outside um, I'm going to talk about these lines first I should clear my canvas select all and press delete button okay now the first line is having two dots okay we can change the we can click and drag to any direction see two options two button options uh, you should you should be able to see you can click drag and move can draw a straight line if you want across you can do it like this if you uh, can you see these two options over here this is for to commit if you click on this you won't be able to change this okay so uh, and this option will clone this image or uh, clone uh, means it's a it will make a copy suppose I click on this see what happens I made a copy nice now okay I can't edit this anymore because I click outside now I'll choose the second option with the three dots this is useful to make curves now I can uh, change the shape according to my wish like this I can't rotate this okay I can rotate this from here okay I rotate this I can flip this from here like this okay this is like vertical flip this is horizontal flip okay in this way I can rotate this okay uh, I'll make it more uh, this way where is the third okay. okay I made a seven <laughs> I'll select these and I'll delete it okay I put my seven in the middle okay now the third lines kind of a four dots over here we can manipulate them as they please uh, I guess uh, this looks like a Z hmm, this looks like a C okay two or C <laughs> okay next thing is this uh, five lines when I draw these five lines, I can uh, do like this. Okay, uh -huh. now what is this? It's a two. We won't be able to do this with the four uh, dotted line. Five dotted line is good for making two. In this way, you can use this. Now we come to our main topic that is our 3D shapes. In 3D shapes, we have 3D objects, 3D models. Uh, one by one, I'll show what what uh, what can be achieved with these. Suppose I make this. 
with these options we have different kind of view like this from here we can do this and this will rotate okay like this and from it um, the use of this option i will tell you later okay first be friendly with these options with these three suppose this is a girl when i click over here it will appear a woman okay change the color from here so gray color okay click outside click on it in 3d shape we have this advantage we can edit it later also like this so increase the size decrease the size this will rotate it or like this okay Hmm. interesting right now this will change the perception okay see from the top from the bottom this will change the perception like this okay and this will rotate here and here okay these are mainly for perspective if i do like this we are looking from the bottom we are looking from the up and this way this is straight okay now click outside and what are these this is dog this is cat this is fish i will see what happened with the dog okay suppose this is the dog i am changing the color to light brown and i'm rotating him like this as if he's standing on this and uh, Okay. <laughs> See, the dog is sinking in the queue. Okay. This way, this need to be rotated. I guess this is fine. Hmm. Now, what is happening over here? This is where the use of this option comes. When you click on it, it will open a light blue color grid. This grid will ensure uh, which object will uh, come above of the other object. Okay. Now, if the grid is like this, the dog is sinking in this queue. Then, to change this, to make the dog above the queue, you need to make the queue behind the grid. Okay. Now, see what happens. See, now the dog is above the grid. Okay. Now you can change it. In whatever ways you like. Okay, this one. I guess this is fine. Okay, make it smaller. Yeah, this will look good. Okay, in this way you can uh, use different things also. Over here, you can put a cap on the head of uh, the girl. This girl, like this. You can change and repeat it from here. Change the angle from here. This way. Mm -hmm. Okay. This way. Okay. You can do whatever you like to do. Just be creative. Okay. I think that is enough for today. We'll learn about the rest of the tabs and options in the next video. Till then, practice accordingly. Be safe, be healthy. Bye-bye.